I purchased this ride on Jeep Gladiator toy a little while ago, and in the first build episode, I built a custom truck frame to go under it. In this video, the engine's going to be mounted completely under the hood, and then I'll build a couple of additional shafts to transfer power rearward and multiply the torque. So we got that main engine mount cross member all tacked in there for now. I did have this plate already, so if you didn't see me build that, that is why. We will be doing some bracing and some gusseting on this thing later. Next is the jack shafts. We're gonna probably need two of them. I still have to refine the design, but we're gonna need them so that we can get more torque out of this engine and so that we can get the rear output sprocket going to the rear axle, closer to the rear axle, so we can have our chain shorter, get all the suspension geometry right, so let's get started building those. Okay, so we got our first little jack shaft tacked in here, and the sole purpose of this one is to move power from the torque converter over here to the center of the chassis. That way, our next jack shaft, the main one in the middle, can be for sprocket reduction, and that big sprocket can be right in the middle of the chassis, and I can have room for feet on either side of it. Let's build it. You'll see what I mean once it's in there. Okay, so the second jack shaft is in here and you can kind of see what I'm going for. So we've got our 10 tooth sprocket in there in the torque converter coming down to this 12 tooth sprocket, transferring power over to this 12 tooth sprocket, and then having some major, major reduction up to this 85 tooth sprocket here. And then this little sprocket next to the 85 tooth one, this 24 tooth is gonna come right back here to the rear axle where there's gonna be another 24 tooth. So the main reduction is 10 to 12, 12 to 85. And I've got this sprocket sticking up here in the middle so that hopefully all I have to do is take a little slice out of the floor for that to protrude through the middle. Feet and legs can go here and here on the floor. Pedals up in this area naturally. Now I just need to get the keys and chains on there and then trim the body to fit and this will be set up. Well, I've got a zip tie on this chain to keep it sort of tensioned for now so it doesn't skip. It's gonna need a half link. I'll have to get one of those. But everything seems to work pretty much as it should for the time being. So 
So we got the sprockets and chains and shafts all tacked up in there in a sort of functional state. And the floor here is all trimmed out. These corners are a little floppy, but I don't really know what the pedals and the steering column and all that stuff is gonna look like in this area in the future. So we'll wait for that to secure those in any other way. I've also trimmed the floor, these ribs right here, just a little bit to clear this sprocket and the frame bolts here and stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're gonna do the rear axle and rear suspension.